Do a little more. So I'm out here in the Audi R8 and when we were out on the rally this last weekend, I noticed something up with downshifting the car when we were in the canyons. So basically you can drive the car in manual mode with either the stick shifter or the paddle shifters here. I like to use, especially in the windy roads, I like to use the paddle shifters because your hands are always on the wheel. And I noticed when going to do a downshift, clicking it downshift, you can hear it click it didn't always engage at first pull. And I'll put a little example of that right here. It's not working, as you can see. Turn the downshift down into fourth. So as you can see, I'm really hoping this is gonna be an easy, quick fix. I did throw it out there on Facebook to get some ideas. Maybe someone had some quick fix ideas before having to take it down to Audi. Somebody suggested to spray some compressed air down in there, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm really trying to have to avoid taking the actual steering wheel off, which would be this guy right here. You would pop this off and then there's little screws that you would pull off on both sides to pull the steering wheel off. If it gets down to that, I would take it down to Audi to take care of that, but let's spray some compressed air down in there and see if maybe we can clean something out that would be caught in there. All right, so let's go take it out for a drive to see if that air worked. Let's engage sport mode with the paddle and see if it clicks on here. It did, it went into manual mode, which it typically always does. So we'll go out and go for a ride here and we'll see if it does those downshifts for us. Upships always have worked. I've never had any issues on this side. So what I'm thinking is if it is an issue, it's gonna be with this paddle over here. Let's flip it down. See that? It's not going down. There we go. On third click, it went down. So that compressed air didn't work. That downshift worked right there. So it's kind of spotty. That downshift worked as well. Again, it's kind of spotty. It does it sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It could be just a little bit of an electric issue, but it also could be that that paddle does need to be replaced. I did do some research. I was looking on YouTube and it doesn't look too difficult to pull off the steering wheel and replace that shifter. But uh, I don't know, it's not something I want to kind of tackle on my own, especially on a car as expensive as the Audi R8. If it was my truck, I would definitely have no issues pulling it apart, but I might actually wait until I get a new steering wheel. I've been wanting to replace this steering wheel with a carbon fiber steering wheel anyway so if I'm gonna have everything apart I might actually wait until I get that ordered and go from there so I will definitely keep you guys updated it's not working as you can see turn the downshift down into fourth stick shift does work but that paddle is not working at all Now it's definitely just not working. So my parents just landed from Florida and we were standing here in the garage with the Audi R8. My dad has yet to see the car. He has seen it on the videos and stuff, but has not seen it actually in person. So Pops is here. Say hi to the vlog, dad. How are you guys doing? <laughs> my dad, Lawrence, they live in Florida. They moved to Florida a few years ago. We're here. We're gonna show him the car. He's excited to see it. Has not yet seen it in person. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's take the cover off. Look at the white. <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is. A lot different in person. It's way different in person, right? Yeah. Check that out. That's cool. <laughs> Crazy. Right? It's crazy. In person, it's so different. It's uh, small. Smaller than what you thought? Yeah, it's like a Porsche. Yeah, like, compared to the GT500, I feel like it's a little bit shorter because the 500, when I would pull it in the garage, it would come in all the way to here. This is short. Yeah, when I look at this and look at your Mustang, this looks small. I can't wait for the drive. Yeah, the drive's gonna be fun. <laughs> the drive's gonna be fun. Yeah. Check that out. This is clean. Oh my. This is cool. It looks nice, right? This is 
school. It's the heart of a Lamborghini. So Lamborghini and Audi make the same V10 engine. The uh, 5.2 liter V10. All the carbon fiber in the back. That's what I really liked about it. Yeah, this is awesome. Super clean. Can't stop looking at it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always afraid you're gonna blow it up on your videos. <laughs> it actually tells you on the dash when you can't rev past 6,000 RPM. Oh. So it has a little like fail safety on it a little bit. And it's meant for that. It's meant to rev high. It revs to almost 9,000 RPM, 8,500 8, RPM. How about we get a cold start for you? You want, you want me to start it up for you? Yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's get a cold start. Give us some baby revs, babe. Or just like 3,500. That's loud. <laughs> Do a little more. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's loud. That is awesome. <laughs> Driver's seat for the first time <laughs> behind the V10 monster of the Audi R8. Let's try it. Let's try it. So then push this over into gear. Now you're in automatic mode. No clutch. Oh, yeah. Just just an automatic car. Still looking for a clutch. It's gonna keep the revs because we are in sport mode. So you'll feel it, you'll feel the revs kind of stay. And what's cool is when it does those downshifts, you feel like a real race car driver. Do you feel it engage? I do. You feel the clutch engage? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> You're like, I did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> I look down at my feet. <laughs> I don't know how you don't get pulled over by these California cops. Yeah. I don't know. Like sometimes I feel like they see the cars and they know they're what they're meant to be for. Like who went on that rally? Did you watch my video? Oh. Of course he watched my video. It's my dad. <laughs> oh, those those yeah. cops. They were waving cars over. Get out of your way. <laughs> that was crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> it kind of scares you. <laughs> this, I feel like a midlife crisis right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm at too. <laughs> I will admit I'm a little afraid of the power right now. I... So I can tell, but when you're giving it gas, you can feel that it wants to go, right? Yep. You know, it feels kind of jumpy, yep. but it's because the car wants to just take it's, off. It does. It almost feels like I'm feathering the clutch. Yeah. Like I'm stepping on the gas wrong. I'll figure it out. But it's just because the car wants to just take off. When you did the launch, I, I could feel the car 
bolt. Does, did the tires? Yeah. So it, the tire, all four tires were spinning. Yeah. It's a different feeling than like a rear wheel drive muscle car. You can feel it wanting to be planted down to the ground where in a muscle car, the rear end feels like it's going to want to come out from underneath you. This you still feel planted, but you still feel like it's kind of maybe floating a little sideways a little yeah. bit, yeah. but you still feel planted. Yeah. It does really inspire confidence, especially like when you're on a canyon road, you can feel the all wheel drive pulling you around the corners instead of like in my GT500, you, you'd feel it pushing you around the corners. This actually pulls yeah. you around the corners. I, I, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Caught this red light. <laughs> Down to this make you smile. <laughs> Every time, it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it really does. All right, give us some. Let it ship. Let it ship. Let it ship. Let it ship. That was only like six thousand RPM. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What that feel like? This incredible. I could drive this car all day long. If we didn't have people to see in California, I'd just be driving your car. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I did making it. It was such an awesome experience being able to share this with my father. Since he has never seen the car, he's 2,000 miles away. It was really cool to be able to show him the Audi R8 and take him for a ride and allowing him to experience an awesome car. Check out my social pages, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, Hot Wheels Dad. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. If there is ever anything that you want to see on the channel, by all means, comment it down in the comments down below and I will for sure get it out for you. I love sharing my world with you guys. This channel would not be where it's at without you guys, especially the viewers, the fans. This weekend, I'm going to be doing a few car shows. I'm going to check out Cars and Coffee in Corona with my dad, of course, since they're going to be here for the next week. Hopefully, I'll be able to see some of you guys out there. If you do see me, don't hesitate to come up and say hi. I'm out there to have a good time with you guys. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story so don't forget to make it legendary catch you guys in the next one peace